Now in 4 News Now at 6, a former Spokane coach found not guilty of sexual misconduct with a 16-year-old student will explain if he'll be returning to the school anytime soon. Get used to the rain because I am tracking plenty more wet weather on the way. I'll let you know when the skies are expected to clear, plus the chance of thunderstorms in your first alert forecast. And the state of hate in the Inland Northwest. We take a look back at the history of racism in our area. Days after racial slurs were hurled at the University of Utah's women's basketball team in Coeur d'Alene. You're watching War News Now at 6. Former North Central High School coach Andre Irvin has been found not guilty on all counts of sexual misconduct. Irvin has been on trial since last Monday. He faced one count of viewing depictions of a minor, one count of sexual misconduct with a minor, and two counts of communicating with a minor for immoral purposes. Our Marissa Rio was in the courtroom today and witnessed Irvin's reaction to that verdict. That's right, Derek. Irvin remained emotionless pretty much throughout his trial, but today that changed. Almost immediately after the judge read the jury's verdict, Irvin was crying. I'm at North Central now where Irvin used to work and where two students accused him of sexual misconduct. It's been months since Irvin has been able to work here. Irvin took the stand in his trial and in his testimony, he remained consistent that he did not touch a student inappropriately, nor did he look at a student's explicit photos. While the prosecution relied on his accuser's testimonies, the defense focused on inconsistencies with the girls' stories. Irvin has been facing these allegations since April of last year. Today, after jury deliberations, Irvin walked away a free man. I confirmed with the district today that Irvin remains on leave. They said in a statement that they are aware of this non-guilty verdict and they are working to move forward to due process to address employee conduct. If anything changes with that, we will continue to update you on air and online at KXLY.com. Reporting live in Spokane, Marissa Rio for News Now. All right, Marissa, thank you. A Moses-like man is now facing over a dozen charges after investigators say they found child pornography in a bag containing child-sized restraints in his house. According to the Grand County Sheriff's Office, they received a tip that 67-year-old Michael Boyer was uploading explicit contact content excuse me of underage children online when investigators searched his home they say they found a phone that he had even more child sexual abuse material detectives say they also found what the sheriff's office is calling a go bag in it were child-sized nylon restraints and a device used to measure a person's blood oxygen levels and pulse sheriff's officials are now working to identify the children depicted in the material which they say has been circulated online for some time all right, we hope you like the rain because we've got a lot more on the way. Now let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker with a view of all that rain. It looked like sprinkles when I was coming in, but it changed it pretty dramatically. definitely picked up in intensity right in time for a wet evening commute. It is still raining here in downtown, but the heavier precipitation is starting to move just east of the downtown area. Here we are zoomed in on Doppler radar, and you see these brighter oranges and yellows. That's where we're seeing the heavier rain from Rockford up through good portion of Spokane, including uh, portions of Hilliard, Colbert, Deer Park. As we head to the west, we find more wet weather around Davenport and Reardon coming down at a pretty good clip. So if it does taper off at your house briefly, uh, we do have more steady, moderate rain that is moving in. Also some heavier precipitation down on the Blue Mountains, and it has been a soggy day at times down on the Palouse as well. For Cast radar shows that precipitation eventually moving off to the east. We won't dry out completely, but much drier conditions heading into the overnight. Here's midnight tonight and tomorrow we'll start the day off with dry conditions, but the showers and possible thunderstorms redevelop in the afternoon. High temperature of 51 degrees. I'll be back with some drier, warmer, sunnier weather for Easter weekend in just a few minutes, Derek. Well, Coeur d'Alene police are now interviewing players and staff from the University of Utah women's basketball team. Yeah, they were unable to interview the victims of that alleged racially charged incident. Hunter Bertram joins us in studio now, and he's tracking this part of the story, Hunter. Yeah, new details reveal that there may be a security surveillance video of the incident from a local shop. Its owner told me the footage had been handed over to police. They did not say what was in it. I am still waiting to obtain that new video. When 
I spoke to Spo with Spokane Police to or Coeur d'Alene Police today. I also asked for an update or evidence of the incident. Investigators told me they are not releasing any materials or updates now. They say it would endanger the integrity of the investigation. I also spoke with the Gonzaga Institute for Hate Studies and how this affects our community. Student athletics are here in part to teach us about teamwork, about collaboration, about the value that we each bring our own strengths to the team to be better together. And that's the lesson that I hope that we can take from this. Togetherness, a term our region has struggled with for decades. Still ahead at 4 News Now at 6.30, I'll revisit our history and the state of hate in the inland northwest. In studio, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. A Washington State University police officer shot at a student who allegedly had a knife in one of the residence halls. According to investigators, 20-year-old WSU student John Bazan was carrying a knife inside of the Global Scholars Hall. At some point, a WSU police officer fired one shot at Bazan, who was not hit. He was taken to the hospital for evaluation and then taken into custody. Also in Pullman, a man is in jail for killing his wife. Police officers were doing a welfare check and found her with serious injuries around 5.45 last night. The department says she was assaulted and died at the scene. Three and a half hours later, officers arrested her estranged husband, 36-year-old Jacob Spray, for second-degree murder. More information will be released as this investigation continues. As of now, investigators have not released the name of the victim. The University of Idaho's volleyball coach is now on leave after players accuse him of abuse and bullying. According to the Orange County Register, coach Chris Gonzalez routinely pressured players who had not been cleared to play or practice by the school's medical staff. The report also says he would withhold pre-ordered food from players after losses, body shame them, and physically push players during practice. U of I says it expects the investigation to be finalized in the coming weeks. For more on this investigation, we have a link to the OC Register's report on KXLY.com. Well, chased, bear sprayed, and robbed. That's how a couple described a terrifying moment in downtown Spokane Tuesday night. It all began when a man was trying to get money out of an ATM and a group waiting nearby tried to cash in. Jordan Smith is live where that robbery happened and joins us in Spokane with the details. Matt, Derek Pearson, that robbery began right here at this ATM. A man came here to withdraw $100 in cash and as soon as he got that money, a group that was watching nearby closed in and quickly became aggressive. A basic transaction turned terrifying in one of Spokane's most popular areas. On the corner of Howard and Spokane Falls Boulevard, a man had just collected $100 from the ATM when he was chased back to his car. The group coming after him repeatedly saying, give me the money. According to the affidavit of probable cause, the man made it inside the car where a woman was waiting. The group pried open the car door and pepper sprayed the two before taking the cash and moving out. Both victims describing the group as young men wearing masks and hoods. They called Spokane police, who immediately began scouring the area for anyone matching the description. Not long after, they found a group who met the criteria. Court documents say that four people scattered, immediately prompting a police chase. Police say they watched one suspect, Deshaun Farmer, throw a backpack into the Spokane River as he fled, which was later recovered. Inside, a can of bear spray and Farmer's birth certificate. Two other suspects, Rashad Leitner and Chase Wilson, were also arrested. Mr. Wilson, you are, uh, were arrested for one count of robbery in the first degree. Three of the men made their first appearances in court today, facing first degree robbery charges. One of the suspects, Jashawn Farmer, an 18-year-old high school student. He needs, to be, he needs to be back at school, y'all, I don't believe sitting here for a $25,000 bond. Because of the severity of this crime, the judge rejected this request. Uh, set bail in the amount of $25,000. And both Wilson and Leitner were issued a $25,000 bond each for this crime. A fourth person who was a minor was also arrested. He's facing first degree armed robbery. This is a class A felony, all for $100. Live in downtown tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Thank you, Jordan. The Port of Baltimore is completely closed as crews work to clear the debris left behind after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed yesterday. The impact this closure could have on the economy and what it could mean for you and your wallet coming up.
And are we done with snow for the season in Spokane? I'm looking ahead to see if any April showers could be April snowflakes instead. And Gonzaga has arrived in Detroit, and so have we. Gonzaga taking on Purdue in the Sweet 16 on Friday. We break down the matchup between the Bulldogs and Boilermakers. Yeah, we'll look at the X-Factors and what they have to do to advance to the Elite Eight this weekend. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Save your green! I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control, and I, I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this. Crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. And now a joke from Yolk's Fresh Market. What's a basketball player's favorite cheese? So <laughs> For 10 years, the 4 News Now Extreme Team has been rebuilding and rejuvenating baseball fields. Is yours next? It's that time again. Go to KXOI.com and tell us why your field needs a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. I'm Chad Young from the EasyHomeBuyer.com. Spokane Quarter Lane's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With the EasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at the easyhomebuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home Buyer. Next ET. This is the new Dr. Phil set. This is the new Dr. Phil set. Our Texas size exclusive with Dr. Phil, welcoming his new TV era. Go big or go home. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. The Zags are moving on. Next stop, Detroit. And 4 News Now will be right there. Join us for special live coverage, exclusive behind-the-scenes action, and more from the Motor City. Watch on the road to the championship only on 4 News Now and streaming on KXLY+. Gonzaga continues its road to the championship. The Bulldogs have a date against number one seed Purdue in the Sweet 16 Friday in Detroit. It's the second time the Bulldogs and Boilermakers will match up this season. GU lost by 10 points in the first meeting in the Maui Invitational back in November. Julian Minnison and Alice Crescenti are in Detroit to cover the game for us. And guys, Purdue had its way with Gonzaga in the first matchup. So why could things be different this time around? Kirsten, Derek, good evening. Yeah, I think it's what the kids say. The glow up has been real for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. This isn't the same team that played Purdue back in November. The team was still trying to find its identity. The team chemistry wasn't there yet. And frankly, head coach Mark Few didn't know what he had. At the time, Gonzaga's offense wasn't clicking the way it is now. The Bulldogs shot just 6 of 32 from three-point range. And now Gonzaga has one of the best offenses, a top 10 offense in all of college basketball. Also at that time, Gonzaga defensively didn't really have an answer for Purdue big man Zach Eady. He had 25 points in that matchup and now Gonzaga clicking on all cylinders defensively making McNeese State and Kansas look like a shell of themselves in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. So the turnaround for this Gonzaga team has been quite incredible to watch especially over the last month and if they play like they have over those first two games of the NCAA tournament here they are going to be tough to beat. And that's what we're hoping for Julian and Alex we've seen the Bulldogs get some major contributions from players up and down the roster, but if they want to advance, who will be the X factor for the Zags? Yeah, Kirsten, I think that 
starts and ends with forward Graham E.K. How good has he been Unbelievable. in WCC play? And there was a case that he should be the West Coast Conference Player of the Year. Voters didn't seem to think so, but he really fuels himself off of slights like that. But he was injured the entire 2022-2023 season. Didn't really know what he was going to be like, but he has been automatic for the Bulldogs so far this season. He has uh, been almost a walking double-double, averaging more than 16 points a game, and we're near automatic at the basket. And as for his efforts, he was named first-team All-West Coast Conference. However, he's going to have his work cut out for him. He's only listed at six foot nine by the university, which is a slight mismatch compared to the bigs of the Purdue, uh, to say the very least. But the MO for this team is if... Yeah, EK plays well, the Zags play well. If he struggles, it's a little bit up in the air. Yeah, and he's going to literally have a tall task with Zach Eady, who stands seven foot four, 300 pounds. So we'll see how it all goes down. 439 Spokane time on Friday. It's going to be a lot of fun here in Detroit. We'll see if the Zags can get to an Elite Eight. But for now, reporting in the Motor City, I'm Julian Minnison. That's Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Oh, thank you, Julian and Alex. Here's a look at the weather you're missing while you're in Detroit. 45 degrees are high today. 52 is our average high, and it has been wet out at Spokane International Airport, though. Still only two tenths of an inch of rain. You may have had more at your house, and it is still coming down. I'll let you know what to expect after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Craig Swap and Associates. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories. Create traditions. Share stories. Find the fun. Embrace the surprises. And celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home. In every room. In every moment. Make your house feel like home. At the Tin Roof. Second Harvest believes no child should go hungry. Every week, volunteers pack meals for over 10,000 children through the Bite to Go program. There are more kids than you may think who need food support over the weekend. The Bite to Go program is a network of businesses, faith organizations, and civic organizations that have banded together to help fight child hunger. We're here to provide nutritional support so kids can show up ready to learn on Monday mornings. Numerica Credit Union is proud to donate $1,000 to Second Harvest Bite to Go program. This is how Numerica cares for kids. So what do you think about these? Um, we like this. Yeah, we love it. When it's time for an update or complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the From side. design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Walk, because Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo are coming live. Fantastic 2024. Friday, August 16th, BECU Live at Northern Quest. Four-time Grammy winners and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo. Tickets on sale Friday, March 29th, 10 a.m. at northernquest.com. Produced by Live Nation. Ooh, looking at the tail end of the evening commute, Spokane Valley at Argonne with wet roads and a lot of moisture out there, and it is coming down. If it did start to lull a little bit at your house, don't take the dog out for a walk just yet. This is what is moving in. Some uh, moderate to heavy rain in Davenport, Harrington, Sprague, moving into Medical Lake, and it's going to be picking up in Spokane here very, very shortly. Four things to know about your weather. We will get a break tomorrow morning and then more showers, not the steady continuous rain we've had this afternoon and this evening, but more hit and miss showers on Thursday. The potential for some isolated thunderstorms mostly dry on Friday. And then we're heading into that sunny, warm weekend that we have been advertising. 
chance of rain on Thursday, it does go up to 20%, uh, eight from between 8 and 10 o'clock, but more likely we're going to hold off until that afternoon convection, and we will get plenty of breaks, might even see a little bit of sunshine, and if you do, Keep in mind that the that sun is just uh, fueling the potential of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Forecast radar starting off at 8 a.m. with some snow in the central Panhandle Mountains, but we are dry until we get into the afternoon and we start to see those showers and possible thunderstorms bubbling up. We'll keep the chance of rain going through most of the evening. Here is midnight uh, heading into Friday morning. Then we dry out a little more. As we get into Friday morning, here's Friday at 7 o'clock. Once again in the afternoon, some convection, but it will be much more uh, hit and miss and may even stay dry where you are. Meanwhile, here is our chance of precipitation over the next several days. We go from 60% Thursday to only 20% chance of measurable rain on Friday, down to zero just in time for the weekend, and it is going to be a beautiful weekend. Tonight, overnight lows will be above freezing throughout the entire region, mid 30s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. High temperatures tomorrow will be just about average, perhaps a hair below through North Idaho, where we will have cloudier, wetter weather. We'll be in the 40s in Coeur d'Alene, St. Mary's and Sandpoint. Here's your seven day forecast. We are into the sunshine, full force by Saturday, a high of 54. Easter Sunday, mostly sunny and 57 degrees after a cool start down below freezing and then 60s Monday and Tuesday Wednesday we start to see our temperatures drop and bring back the chance of precipitation Derek all right Chris thank you and that warmer weather is going to feel good after that little snow we saw this past weekend but could this be another false spring Krista just say precipitation at the end of the seven day meteorologist Matt Gray digging into whether we're done with valley snow this season Matt all right thank you Kirsten and if you are like me, you used the warm weather a couple of weeks ago to start your yard work for the spring. But this time of the year, there is always the possibility of snow hanging over your head while you're doing that. And we certainly saw that this past weekend, especially in North Idaho. But now that we're warming up, are we done? If you go based on the last few years, well, you never say never. Measurable snow fell in Spokane in the month of April. The last two years, quite a bit of it actually, and three of the last five, and flurries have been recorded in April in all but two out of, get this, the last 70 years. So history says you should expect something to happen next month, but heavier snows, well, they're a little bit less common. Now, if we break it down week to week, you're most likely to see measurable snow, not surprising, in the first week of April. And then you see quite a bit of a drop off for the rest of the month with the statistics. So what's early April looking like this year? Now we are going to start warm as Chris just showed you, but as she also just showed you right there at the very end by next Wednesday, another cold push out of the north start spreading across the country after the first couple of days of the month. And that should get things cold enough to at least have a chance for some lowland snow if everything else lines up right when it comes to moisture. Now, once you get past say, the first 10 days of the month, though, it looks like the trend is going to move past to warm, and that would likely shut down our chances of valley snow for good as we head towards later April. So are we done with snow? We've probably got one more chance after the next few days, but the odds for adding a ton to that total is unlikely. All right, Matt, thank you. And like you just said, we shouldn't be getting any major snowfall anytime soon, so you'll no longer need those studded snow tires. If you haven't removed them yet, you'll have until Sunday to replace them with regular ones in Washington. If you don't, you could get hit with a $137 fine. Washington is facing housing crisis right now. Why people live in the co-living housing right behind me say it could be a possible solution to fix the problem. That's coming up. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. 
Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. The ECU, as I like to call it, the best ever credit union, is wonderful. We have a lot of ways to help you financially. We have members that come in all the time, and it, it's really such a spectrum of things. From an 18-year-old kid that, like, hey, I just wanted to let you know, we started this journey together, I'm buying my first car. To our no-fee 12-year mortgage, or our no-fee home equity product, we are a great financial institution that really wants the best for you and your family and your future. No matter where you're at in your journey, we're here to help you build on that. Nothing beats college basketball in March, except, of course, college basketball at Northern Quest with Turf Club Sportsbook and Epic Sports Bar. Catch all of your favorite teams on Epic's 30-foot HD TV. Then use the Turf Club Sportsbook mobile app to turn game day into payday with money line bets, futures, parlays, and more. Turf Club Sportsbook and Epic Sports Bar, your ultimate March lineup, only at Northern Quest. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Friday morning, kick off your weekend with the one and only Cheryl Crow Live. All I wanna do is have some fun. Let's have some fun. Friday morning on GMA's Concert Series. Sponsored by Planet Fitness. Save now at Buy Mart with our latest savings book. Watch for it in your mailbox or pick up a copy in store. Save more store-wide on everything you need for spring and more at Buy Mart. Northwest employee-owned for 20 years. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Four News Now is brought to you by Gold Seal Plumbing. Skyrocketing rent and limited housing options are major headaches for some renters in Washington. Now, a new law could provide another affordable housing option. Governor Jay Inslee signed House Bill 1998 last Tuesday. When it takes effect in June, it will remove regulations that could hamper future co-living developments. Peter Choi spoke with a co-living resident today and explains how it saves you money on rent. At a house on 8th Avenue and Garfield Street on the South Hill. Listen, I'm the newest member of the house. Michelle Corbett has lived here since last year. He shares this house with five people. Living here in a community as this, yes, I'm definitely saving money. Corbett says everything costs a lot right now. Saving money on monthly rent is a huge help. I'm sharing resources for one aspect. Um, another aspect would be I'm close to work. This co-living house has five private spaces. Residents from all different age groups share a common space like kitchen. Mariah McKay is the community manager here. It will allow developers and property managers to get creative in creating new residential living opportunities. Governor Jay Inslee signed the legislation last Tuesday. It would include requirements for cities and counties to allow co-living permitting multifamily housing. And it would prohibit regulations against the development. And a local affordable housing advocate says co-living housing like this could help fix the housing crisis in Washington. Ben Stalker with Spoken Low Income Housing Consortium supports the law. I was just talking to some real estate people that sell homes this weekend and they're just seeing record uh, low in supply and so that drives the prices up and so I think every little bit the legislature can do will help. I'm excited for the opportunity. In Spokane, Peter Choi, for News Now. Well, a major construction project that will shut down Bigelow Gulch for months is set to begin. Yeah, we'll explain how to get around the possible traffic nightmare coming up. Plus, when rollerblading returns to Riverfront Park after the break, stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Ready to bring your dream countertop to life? At Floor and Home, you dream, we install. This month, pay no sales tax at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor and Home. Hi. 
I'm Robert Sacre. You may know me from my basketball career. But what you don't know is, I'm a father of four, and life can get pretty chaotic. So that's why I'm getting a vasectomy in North Idaho Urology. So I can finally sit back and enjoy the madness. Vasectomy season is back. Scheduled today in North Idaho Urology. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% Come off. See the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. The New York Times calls it thrilling, glorious, and better than it ever was. Bartlett Shear's glowing production is enthralling. Don't miss the smashing, jubilant Lincoln Center Theater production of My Fair Lady. April 2nd through 7th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. Ready to bring your dream kitchen floor to life? At Floor & Home, you dream, we install. This month, pay no sales tax at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor & Home. Spring Cleaning USA. Look at that. Next, it's an addition. The unexpected places you've never thought of cleaning, but should. Your mattress. And this is going to deodorize the mattress. The bathroom exhaust fan. And why you should also clean your dishwasher. This was in my dishwasher. This was in your dishwasher. Ew. Then, the bridge collapse disaster. How did it go so wrong? Watch the next Inside Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Well, we told you earlier about the new details we've uncovered of the incident with the University of Utah women's basketball team in Coeur d'Alene last week. On March 21st, the team reported a truck with a Confederate flag stalked, harassed, and intimidated the team in a racially motivated attack. Hunter Bertram joins us in studio now with the state of hate in our communities. Yeah, the Inland Northwest is an epicenter to years of hatred, once the capital of the Aryan nation that sought to ethnically cleanse the area. And following Thursday's incident, it raises questions of where our communities stand. Gonzaga has a Center for the Study of Hate that was established in 1997 and has been a presence on this campus ever since. This is Christine Hoover, a faculty member in the School of Leadership Studies at Gonzaga, who studied hate for years. We have the ability to respond when we aren't our best selves, and that's really what we're called to do, to be our best selves, to shine a light in the dark corners so that we can name what is so that we can reach who we want to be as a better community because we can do better. Doing better, a tale this area constantly has struggled with. Only a few years ago in the heart of Coeur d'Alene, an anti-LGBTQ plus rally of masked extremists. And just north of the city, the base camp of the Aryan Nation near Hayden Lake. Aryan headquarters. An extremist group that came to an end in 2001, only two decades ago. According to data from the Southern Poverty Law Center, known for its accurate reporting of hate groups and extremists, told me in their 2022 report in Washington, there was 29 reported hate in anti-government groups, and Idaho, that number came to 21 groups. However, they don't count the number of members. We need to recognize and condemn immediately the acts that happened, that no person, whether they're an athlete or not, should be a target of racism or bigotry. In a time of an incident that once again put a national spotlight on our area, Christine wants our community to be better once and for all. Over the last two days, as I spoke with community members and leaders, most wanted to emphasize this is not our community. But some say the hate's deeply ingrained. In studio, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. Thank you, Hunter. 
Well, get ready to lace up your skates because roller skating returns to Riverfront Park this Friday. Pedal cart rentals and the spider jump will also open for the season. You can find out when you can experience all that the park has to offer by visiting the story on KXLY.com. And if golf is more your thing, Indian Canyon Golf Course also opens on Friday. It joins Creek at Qualshan, Downriver, and Esmeralda as the city-run courses that are already open this season. And talking about all those outdoor activities has me thinking about our seven-day forecast and the rain that's still to come. Oh, well, that's just what the golf courses and parks need before a beautiful weekend where we'll all be enjoying. But right now, it is coming down. This is the view right now on I-90 at the Geiger exit, and uh, it is an unpleasant uh, evening commute. It has been. I'm glad it's wrapping up, and it's about to get even worse in many locations. We are looking at our Doppler radar right now uh, with some heavy rain from uh, down around Rosalia, up through Cheney, Medical Lake, up toward Ford and Deer Park, Davenport, it's really coming down as well as in Sprague, and that heavier rain is moving into portions of eastern Spokane County and starting to see things picking up in Coeur d'Alene as well. Here's a broader view on our Doppler radar on some of that heavy precipitation, and it's going to take a while, but there is a back edge uh, that is just now starting to clear Moses Lake and that's going to be making its way across the Spokane area later this evening. Here's our forecast radar which I think dries us out a little fast based on the current trends but by about midnight we will just be left with some very hit and miss showers mainly over the Palouse but there is more wet weather on the way for Thursday. It's not going to be the steady heavy rain that we are seeing in spots right now but more hit and miss but the potential for some afternoon thunderstorms including some small hail, occasional cloud to ground lightning as well as brief heavy down Downpours, a high of 51, close to average. 52 is our average high. I'll be back to tell you about that beautiful weekend on the way. Plus, have some Wildlife Wednesday photos, Derek. All right, Chris, looking forward to it. Around the nation now, in Baltimore, crews are still searching for the remains of the six construction workers who fell into the river when the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed early yesterday morning. In this video, you can see the moment a large cargo ship crashing into one of the bridge's supports beams after losing power. This tragedy could lead to supply chain issues. Baltimore ranks as the ninth largest U.S. port for international cargo. It handled about 52 million tons last year, an impact that Maryland Governor Wes Moore emphasized. We're talking about $191 million a day of economic activity, 8,000 jobs that are directly related to this. The city ranks first among U.S. ports that process autos and light trucks, handling a record 850,000 of them in 2023. Not just uh, cars, by the way, that also includes a lot of farm equipment, which is a very important export for the American economy. Now, you may see an increase in shipping costs, but one leading economist says goods will be moved through other ports, so the disruptions aren't expected to have much impact on the wider economy. A major detour is coming to Bigelow Gulch next week. Starting Monday, the road will be closed between Havana Street to Wild Road and won't reopen until late fall. During that time, crews will be installing a new water drainage system, resurfacing the road, and installing street lights and guardrails. A detour will be in place directing drivers toward Mead until the project is complete. For more information about this project, head to KXLY.com. Well, Subaru is recalling nearly 120,000 Outback and Legacy vehicles over potentially faulty airbag sensors. The recall involves the 2020 through 2022 model years. A capacitor in the occupant detention system sensors may crack and short circuit. That could prevent the front passenger airbag from deploying during a crash. Dealers will replace the sensors for free. Impacted owners will be notified of the recall by mail. All right, Gonzaga's gearing up for a highly anticipated rematch against top-seeded Purdue. Yep, Zags locked in for their ninth straight Sweet 16 appearance, and Alex Crescenti's live for us. We know that the nine straight Sweet 16s is impressive, but just how historic is it, Alex? Yeah, only two teams since 1985 
have had such streaks. They are the Duke Blue Devils and the North Carolina Tar Heels. So you're in pretty good company if you are the Gonzaga Bulldogs. But this really can't be overstated enough just how difficult this is. I've been covering the Bulldogs for three tournaments now, and they've not had a single easy game in the tournament up until really this weekend. And that includes the 2022 season when they were the number one overall seed and had all that NBA talent. Now, however, the road to get to this point has been very different from years past. This weekend going into the uh, weekend, they blew out Kansas, but this team doesn't have that elite level talent and it showed as the Bulldogs dropped six games in the regular season and fell out of the uh, AP top 25 poll for the first time in 20 or in a few years. And even uh, as of late February, they were projected out of the tournament. But like so many times we've seen before, they didn't pet panic weathered the storm and somehow ended up earning a number five seed to help them get to this point. And if anyone knows how difficult the job is, it's head coach Mark Few. About mid-December or actually late December, this this probably was, it was looking like, hey, maybe it wasn't going to happen, you know. But these guys, I'll give them credit, they, they remain coachable this entire year. They just stuck with it, stuck, stuck with it. They, they believed and in in the program and, and the staff and what we're trying to do and and uh, you know lo and behold we we finally got we finally figured it out. Now while Gonzaga has all these accolades to its name, the one thing that has eluded them is a national championship. And in fact, Gonzaga and Purdue are the two top two teams that have the most NCAA tournament wins without a championship. So whoever wins on Friday night will take one step closer to that elusive title, uh, but a long way to go before you can get to that point. But for now, reporting live from a frigid Detroit, Michigan, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. All right, get that heat cranked up in the car, Alex. Still ahead, it may soon cost you less to swipe your credit card. How a historic deal between Visa and MasterCard will help lower prices. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now Daily Local at KXLY.com. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. Spokane's hottest music. If you're at home right now and you're suffering from burning, tingling, or numb feet, you need to pay special attention to this next segment as we discuss neuropathy. What is neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is actually nerve damage to the feet and the legs primarily. And what are the symptoms? The major symptoms we see are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, problems with your balance. Is neuropathy treatable? It is absolutely treatable, and we can get some great results. If you're experiencing burning, tingling, numbness, coldness in your feet or hands, or having balance issues, call today for your nerve damage screening. Your nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious complications and if you're a candidate for our innovative treatment program. Don't wait until your symptoms are so severe there is nothing that can be done. End-stage neuropathy leaves people confined to walkers, wheelchairs, and even amputations. The first 25 callers will receive a free nerve damage screening. Act now and call to schedule your nerve damage screening. First 25 callers receive this screening for free. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best-in-class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. You work hard for your money. And now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Well, lately we've been talking about some wildlife that uh, I've been seeing at night. Uh, we saw some rabbits <laughs> this week, but 
the real stars of the show on Wildlife Wednesday are not rabbits, Chris. I, I might have a, a hair Ooh, in Wildlife okay. Wednesday. It's almost Easter, you know, <laughs> uh, but we're actually going to start off with one of the things that rabbits fear the most, uh -huh. probably. Uh, a lot of people not too crazy about them. They are beautiful, though. Mark Vogt. A very rare Wildlife Wednesday treat. We don't get very many wolves because they are hard to spot, especially, you, Mark says, you don't see them very often out in the open like this one that he spotted this week in North Idaho. Still some snow there around Mark's parts, uh, but a beautiful uh, wolf there. Thank you, Mark. Courtney Litwin shared this photo of the ridiculous mating dance uh, of the Sandhill Cranes, of course. Uh, they were passing through, still are, in parts of the Columbia Basin, enjoying the fields there and uh, doing their thing. Thank you, Courtney. Uh, Susie Corpe shared this photo from Farragut State Park of a ground squirrel, adorable, uh, looking for something to eat. Kazu Crumpleman, also at Farragut uh, this week, shared this photo of a western bluebird. I'm always amazed uh, by their bright colors, just stunning. And there's your, your, your bunny. Uh, it's actually a hare uh, at Farragut State Park. Jerry Rawls shared this photo. And and still in the white, not quite in the spring browns, ready for the warm season. I This hair must have seen Matt's report about the cooler weather coming. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Here's a look at our forecast radar. We're starting off Thursday morning at 8 in the morning with dry conditions over eastern Washington. Some lingering snow showers in the central panhandle down into the southern panhandle. As we get into the afternoon, we're going to start to see the convection developing, not the steady rains that we've had today, but a little more hit and miss, and they could be more intense, including the potential for some isolated thunderstorms, producing small hail and gusty winds, as well as some brief heavy downpours. That is going to continue through the evening and possibly even some lingering showers late into Thursday night. We'll start the day off dry on Friday, other than some mountain snow, and then another round of convection, but it is going to be much less intense and much more isolated. Here's 5 o'clock on Friday. We should be drying out Friday evening, heading into that beautiful weekend uh, that we have been talking so much about. Here's a look at your planning forecast. 51 for a high on Thursday, which is just about average. 52 on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds and that chance of some afternoon convection. Then we are clearing out for Saturday and Easter Sunday. High temperatures in the mid-70s, but we've got some cooler overnight lows, something to keep in mind if you've got an early service on Easter, if it's outdoors. 62 on Monday and 64 on Tuesday, and then we start cooling back down again uh, with some showers. I think that trend is going to continue, so enjoy that stretch of sunny warm weather Kirsten we will thank you Chris well Spokane Public Schools is partnering with the local nonprofit Generation Alive to help feed local people in need yeah this is really cool Generation Alive works to inspire youth to lead with compassion and that's what they try to do today at Shadow Park High School Marissa Rio was there to watch how students were giving back to their community I'm in the gymnasium of Shadle Park High School right now, and let me tell you, just a few minutes ago, it was really loud in here with hundreds of kids packing thousands of boxes for those facing food insecurity. As you can see right over here, there's apples, there's oatmeal, and there's cinnamon, and a few kids here tell me they had a really fun time knowing that they're helping their community. <laughs> Students race to strike the gong every time they filled up a box with meals of apple cinnamon oatmeal. Assembly lines of kids packing food were along every wall of the gym. One student packing a cup of oatmeal, the next sugar, then apples and cinnamon, before finally sealing up a pouch and packing it into a box. One student who volunteers at Generation Alive says today gave him a lot of fulfillment. It brings a lot of joy to help with people around the community because I've, I used to, when I was younger, I used to do none of this stuff and I realized that when I do it more, you bring joy to yourself. Bringing joy to others helps bring more joy to myself. Elementary school students and middle school students also had the opportunity to take part in the fun. 
Another senior who volunteers with Generation Alive says she used today as an opportunity to help the younger kids understand the importance of giving back. I hope that they can see that it's fun to serve others and it isn't as tasking, like it's not as hard as some people say it is. Um, and you can also do it at any age and continue to do it and um, get the benefits out of it. And by the looks of it, the kids had a blast attempting to reach their goal of packing 20,000 boxes of meals by the end of the day. The students hope to pack an additional 20,000 tomorrow for a grand total of 40,000. Reporting in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. All right, good for them. As we head to a break, here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup for your Wednesday night. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. AutoNation gets it. Your life is constantly on the move. Going from one place to another. And after that, guess what? Yeah, you keep going. That's why we do our part to keep you on the go. Now at AutoNation Toyota, drive a new 2024 RAV4 for just $4.44 a month. Or lease a new Toyota Camry for only $2.97 a month. Go to AutoNation Toyota today. What drives you drives us. Looking for a great deal on a John Deere compact tractor? Right now, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. We also have great pricing on hundreds of in-stock implements to customize the tractor of your dreams. Hurry in, this offer won't last long. Stop by a Pape Machinery Ag and Turf store to take advantage today. So you want somewhere to play, we got you. A nice, relaxing stay, we got you. Wanna be entertained, we got you. Wanna play golf all day, we got you. Florida Lake Casino, the winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do, we got you. Want some tasty food, we got you. Heard you wanna do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Florida Lake Casino. Welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda. Thank you. I've been coming to Coeur d'Alene Honda for years, and they always treat me just like family here. Our customers love how easy it is to do business with us. We have Hondas that fit everyone's budget. Awarded Dealer of the Year and rated 4.7 on Google. All new Hondas and select pre-owned come with our nationwide lifetime warranty. Plus, all new Hondas come with two years free maintenance. Which Honda would you prefer? Coeur d'Alene Honda with the lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you or the other guys? Don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Eek, eek. card could soon get a little cheaper thanks to a historic new agreement so on those so-called swipe fees. Visa and MasterCard agreeing to lower those fees for merchants. ABC's Rena Roy explains. It's a $30 billion deal that could affect the way you pay at stores. Visa and MasterCard reaching a deal with retailers after years of battling over the fees the two companies charge merchants every time you swipe your credit card. This deal, one of the largest antitrust settlements in U.S. history, lowers those fees. It limits the amount of interchange or swipe fees that Visa and MasterCard can charge uh, merchants and retailers for a, a period of five years. Swipe fees typically include small fixed fees plus a percentage of total sale amounts and average about 1.5 to 3.5 percent per transaction, according to Bankrate.com. They should make it easier to pay with a credit card because what they will do now is not probably not charge a, a surcharge on top of the, the, the price, but give discounts for those uh, issuers and banks and networks that give them a better deal. 
Credit and debit card swipe fees have more than doubled over the past decade and soared to a record $172 billion in 2023, up from $160 billion in 2022, according to the Nielsen Report. Most of the time, that fee is passed on to us, but with this latest settlement, the savings retailers will see will also likely be passed down to us, according to the National Retail Federation. The Retail Federation saying they are most merchants' highest operating cost after labor and are too much to absorb, driving up prices paid by the average family by more than $1,000 a year. Critics say this deal doesn't go far enough. Meanwhile, Visa saying these were meaningful concessions and MasterCard says the agreement brings some closure to a long-standing dispute by delivering certainty to business owners. The settlement is subject to final approval in court. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Well, there's some major changes coming to the gridiron next season with the NFL announcing new rules surrounding player safety. I feel this is a great day for the NFL. There's been a lot of hard work that's gone into this. The NFL announcing it's banning what's known as a hip drop tackle. Like the ones you're seeing here, that's where a player wraps up the runner and then drops their weight onto the runner's upper legs to bring them down. Last year, league officials say there were 230 of these types of tackles leading to 15 players missing playing time from injuries. That's at least 20 times the injury rate of typical tackles. But the NFL Players Association and many current and former stars say the rule goes too far. Former Defensive Player of the Year, J.J. Watt, tweeting, just fast forward to the belts with the flags on them. As we head to break, a live look now over downtown Spokane. We will be back with one final look at your forecast. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything from design and products to removal and installation. Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Tonight, the latest on the bridge collapse in Baltimore. Plus, the Supreme Court abortion pill hearings. What more could be at stake? More Americans turn to World News Tonight with David Muir, the most watched newscast on television. It's Click It RV's huge open house show and sale going on now with top manufacturers like Forest River, Winnebago, Thor, Jayco, StarCraft, and more. With super low interest rates, zero down, and no payments till July. Enter to win 30000 in cash or a new 2023 StarCraft trailer. There's huge savings on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. So beat the spring rush and don't miss this huge open house sale at Click It RV. One mile past the Y on the Newport Highway. My daughter is Andrea, and I'm showing up in her life because I show up in mine. Forgiveness is, you know, she trusts me, and I forgive myself for choosing drugs. I've been in long-term recovery since 2519. The Native Treatment Center gave me that spiritual connection to where I can have a healthy life and recover. Other people show me forgiveness by supporting me for who I am. One word can change the story. My treatment story starts with forgiveness. This month, Cal Cars is going crazy with mad savings on the biggest selection of tricked out trucks and sporty SUVs. We've aggressively priced these rigs so low that this month we're offering a price match guarantee. Which means if you find the same type of vehicle anywhere else for less, we will match it guaranteed. And during this madness of savings, 40 bucks down is all you need. It's go time this week at Cal. I was gonna drive my convertible. I was like late 40s at the time. I looked around, it's a bunch of 40 year olds in their convertibles. No, oh, this is sad. Next live, Mara Tierney. Watch live tomorrow at nine, right after GMA. So what do you think about these? We're gonna take everything. From design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. 4 News Now is brought to you by Ziggy's. Did you bring your raincoats? I told you two yesterday. I did. Okay. Okay. 
Kirsten, mm. you've got kind of a, yeah, okay. <laughs> I came um, in today making well, all kinds of faces. That's what will greet you as you head out the door. Uh, tomorrow, chance of showers and thunderstorms. We are drying out as we head toward the weekend, but don't trip over Thursday on your way to Saturday. <laughs> My wife just sat through a soccer game and said she is chilled to the bone from the rain oh. and the wind as well.